Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to work a little differently with text variables. In this activity, we're still going to work with a text data entry field, but this time we want to listen or look for a specific entry rather than just displaying it on a following slide. So what we're looking for here is either ethics or communication to be typed into this window. So if I type in ethics and click submit, I'm displayed a slide layer with ethics information, right? So I'm listening specifically for which of these two values was input in our variable field, in our text entry field. And if I typed in communication, the same thing, I would just see a communication layer, okay? Go ahead and jump into your practice slide. So just like before, we need a, a, an input field so we can collect the information from the learner. So go up to insert, input, and we're also gonna work with a text entry field again, and just drag it out on the slide. And let's go ahead, just like before, and remove the fill. And this time, let's give it a, a white outline, and we'll change the text here to white. All right, so we have a little white outline box on it, and then we have the text. Next step is to, let's give it a name, right? We've already created the variable by entering the text entry box, but if I come over here to the manage project variables, we've created the variable, the text entry, which is the default name, but I want to give this a little bit more meaningful name. You can see my type is here and my default value. So let's go ahead and just click in here, and let's call this welcome course. And that'll be used to ask the learner to enter either the ethics or the communication course they want to view. And go ahead and click OK. And if I look over here in the text entry, you can see that the text entry trigger has been updated to reflect the new name we gave the variable. If you look down here in the layers, we already have two layers set up for you. We have the ethics training and then we have the communication. So this, this has already been created. On the base layer, we want to evaluate what value has been entered in the text field, the text, what the text variable's value is, and then show one of two layers based on that choice. So what is it we want to do, and when do we want to do it, right? There's our trigger. Go ahead and add a trigger. All right, so what is it I want to do? I want to show a layer, and the layer is the ethics. When I click the submit button, right, when user clicks the, the button, show it. Well, if I leave that set up like this, right, we're automatically going to see ethics layer regardless of whether I enter anything. Well, here's what we want to ch add the condition. I want to show a condition that says, go ahead and show the layer, the ethics layer, only if, in this case, our variable welcome course is equal to the value of ethics. Right? So this is my condition. I want to evaluate whether or not the, the text variable equals ethics right here. So now you're going to show me a layer, but this right here determines whether or not we'll actually see that layer. Go ahead and click OK. And again, we're, we're, it's always a good idea to work with reference variables just to verify that your variable is working the way you expect it to. So I'm going to type in welcome course. I can't really see it because it's dark, so let me change it to a lighter color. Make sure I spelled it correctly because that's going to be important. All right, let's test this out. Let's see how this is working. So go up to preview. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter ethics. And I move away from it and I can see that the, the reference variable is set, but nothing's gonna happen until I, I click the submit button. So let's try it. And there we go. So it's listening for that and it's displaying the uh, training. All right, so let's go ahead and add one more for communication. So I can actually just come in here and copy this, right? Rather than having to uh, type it out, I can just copy the trigger and paste it. And this time I'm gonna change one of them to show me the layer at communication. And I'm gonna change the uh, value to communication. All right, so we have two layers for our button. And each one of these is going to uh, either show the communication layer or the ethics layer whenever that variable welcome course is set. Let's preview our slide. All right, let's try the communication. All right, so I can see that it updated correctly here. I click submit and there's communication. Come in here. And there's the ethics. Now, if you wanted to, you could create another layer that evaluates 
if something different other than ethics and communication was typed in the field. And that'd be a really good challenge, right? You need another trigger to evaluate if these are not selected, then show a third layer, a warning layer, and direct the learner to enter one of the two choices available. All right, so there's a lot of different ways that we can work with text variables. These are just a two of the more common ways. One is to personalize courses, and then one is to show something based on the value that was entered. So you can give specific feedback to choices learners make. Go ahead and practice these tutorials. If you have any questions, please post in the forums. And now it's up to you to find ways to use text variables in your e-learning courses.